Hey everyone, this is Alex or Polymomo T, and today I have uh, watch me resin how to make this apple case out of resin and pigments. So first I got this mold from Miniature Suite and this is one of the biggest molds they've ever sent me. And I really liked how the apple case looked. I don't know why, but it really intrigued me so I was like, let's do it. So I mixed in some two-part resin that I had and I just mixed it together and it's kind of too big to use UV resin so I thought I'll use two-part resin and I poured it into my apple mold and I had just barely enough to fill up the mold and I didn't have enough to fill up the lid at all so I just had to make the bottom part only. Next I'm taking some pigments and I'm just splattering them everywhere, just dots everywhere. And I saw this technique online and people just take pigments and they just spread it into their resin and it becomes a really cool design so I'm like, hey, let's give it a shot. I really didn't think about it until after it cured, but I'll tell you what happened after. So you're going to see my head pop in and out. I'm actually just blowing air onto it because I didn't have a straw. I'm just spreading it around. And after 24 hours, the resin set. And it looks nice, but the very top, the pigments, kind of where they sat, was too sticky. So I covered it up with some UV resin and cured that. And then I took it out of the mold, and the white spots was actually really sticky too. So what I did there was I poured some more UV resin and cured and covered that up. So next time, have enough resin to kind of coat the bottom, let that cure. Put the resin and all the pigment dyes yourself and then put another layer of UV resin on top because then that'll prevent it from being sticky. But I really liked how this design came out. I really wish I had enough UV resin or two part resin for the lid but I didn't have it unfortunately so that's what the lid would have looked like if it were. But I really do like how the pigments kind of all blended in together. I kind of wish I didn't add the white in the middle because it just kind of sunk in and it looks kind of off there but otherwise maybe I'll try this technique again I need to buy more two-part resin I'm actually surprisingly really liking two-part resin anyways that's the end of my super short video and I hope you guys enjoyed I got this mold from miniature sweets which I'll be linking in the description box below thank you